Now there are different ways to find the return. One is simply the dollar return. So say if you have invested $100 in a stock and after some time you want to sell that and um, the price at that time is 125. So let's suppose it's 125. So how much extra you got? You got obviously $25, right? And during that time, if you got also the dividend, say for $2 dividend for that stock, so overall your dollar return is 27. 100, you paid for that stock. Now you're selling that stock at 125. So you got extra 25 in terms of capital appreciation or capital gain plus the $2 dividend which you got on that stock. So this concept of dollar return is very simple. In terms of percentage return, this is actually the dividend income, whatever the dividend income you received, plus the capital gain divided by the beginning stock price. So the example which I was giving earlier, in that case, it is simply the $27, $2 dividend income plus $25 capital gain divided by the beginning pr uh, stock price, which is as 100. Let's see another example. So if you have $1,400 and you want to invest in a stock which is pricing at $35 right now, and after a year, say you are going to sell that stock, at that time, the price is 49 and during the investment horizon you got a dividend of 1.4 dollar in that stock what is your percentage return the answer is very simple first of all how many stock you bought if uh, you have 1400 dollars uh, to invest and the price of each stock is 35 dollar so the total stock uh, uh, the, the, the the total shares which you bought is 40 shares so uh the price appreciated by 14 dollar 49 minus 35 so 14 multiplied by 40 it will give you the capital gain of 560 dollar plus you got also the dividend on 40 stock so each share gave you 1.4 dollar so total dividend becomes 1.4 dollars multiplied by 40 shares which is 56 so the total dollar return is 616 and the percentage return is 660 which you got as a dollar return divided by the total investment which was 1400 so this turned out to be that that this turned out to be 44 percent uh, return uh, from this investment now see another thing another example let's suppose if there is a company and uh, you bought 200 sh share of that company say it's its name is louis uh, companies incorporation and you paid 300 dollar per share so three months later if you want to sell this share and the price of that share turned out to be 31.50 per share and you did not receive any dividend what is the percentage return it's simply 31.5 uh, minus 30. So the cap capital uh, gain turned out to be $1.50 per share divided by the price of the share, which is 30. So the percentage return is 5%. Now here comes an, a very important concept and sometimes students will, will get uh, uh, like uh, sometimes student and get confused with these two concepts so this is the holding period return because the the investor held the stock for three months so this is called a holding period return now what is effective annual return so the effective annual return is the return which the investor will get if he kept invested in this stock and kept getting the same return right so first of all, uh, see that how much the, the how many holding period uh, 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 periods are there in one year. So how many three months because the holding period is three months over here. So how many holding period are, periods are there in one year? It's four because there are 
for three months in a year january to march then uh, april to june then july to uh, october uh, 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 sorry uh, july to september and october to december so there are four holding period to return uh, so, sorry holding periods in a year so this is very key thing and then we have a formula for effective annual uh, return and uh, the formula is 1 plus the effective annual return is equal to 1 plus holding period return raised to the power m where m is the number of holding periods in a year so in the previous case if you feed in the number you will get 1 plus holding period return raised to the power 4 so 1 plus holding period return was 5 percent so if you want to write 5 percent in decimals it's it will be 0 0.050 over here sorry uh, well, sorry this one raised to the power 4 and from here you subtract minus you will get 0.2155 or in other words 21.55 percent now what does it actually mean by effective annual return we know the formula by this time uh, but still i know many students may be confused so again the effective annual return means that rather just holding it for three months if you would have held it for the whole year what would have the return you actually earn if this five percent you kept earning after every three uh, after every three months right so in this case uh, look say if this was the formula one plus one plus the holding period return raised to the power four so you can rewrite it by one plus zero point five in fact it should be 0 0.05 it should be 0 0.05 rather 0 0.5 so if you will multiply it four times so say if you have invested in january dollar one and you got five percent so what would be your value after uh, three months obviously one dollar and five cents and now on one dollar and five cents you again earn five percent for the next three months so by the end of the june you you will have 1.1025 then for fall further uh, for the following quarter starting from the july till september you again earn the five percent so you will end up getting one dollar and 15 cents in fact almost 16 cents and if you would have further left it invested for the last quarter starting from the october to december and earn five percent on it you will end up getting one dollars and 21 in fact almost 22 cents right so what was your originally invested money one dollar what is your return then dollar return it's actually 21 cents 0.21 means 21 cents and in terms of percentage it is 21.55 percent return and this return is called effective annual return where you will you will keep the money for the whole, whole year so the, so the if you would have kept the amount in this example which was actually you invested for the three months only but if you would have kept for the whole year rather getting the five percent you will get 21.55 percent return so this is called effective annual return